trout, so I suggest you give this one a try. Hey, what's up everybody? In this video, I'm going to be tying a egg pattern. It's a variation of the Antron egg. It's, uh, instead of the Antron yarn, we'll be using egg foam. It will be um, sort of a blood dot egg, but the hook I have in the vise is a Hemingway's H122. It's in a size 12. It's a shrimp cat caddis type hook. The thread we're going to be using is a gray 8 aught from Hemingway's. So we'll start that thread about two eye lengths behind the eye of the hook. We'll take a piece of fly foam, egg foam, roughly about an inch long. I'd say it's about a quarter inch in diameter. We'll pinch it tight at the end and we'll cut it off square. So we'll start that tying that in good and tight. Next we'll take and we'll fold that over the hook, kind of split it. And we'll give a couple tight wraps, securing that in real good. <clears throat> Next we're going to take a little bit of red dubbing. I'm using a UV ice dub. I mean any red dubbing will work. We just want to create the uh, yolk or the blood dot. You can see that the folding that foam over and leaves a little bit of a, a ball so you're not going to need much dubbing at all we just want to turn that red um, I've seen a video uh, where they just take a marker and color that red but I kind of like the dubbing because it kind of builds a little bit of a bulkier blood dot so we'll start dubbing that in, make a nice bulky dot. Now we're going to take and do some loose wraps down the bend of the hook. And we'll leave that hang. Now you're going to want to separate this foam, spread it apart, and we're going to fold it back over and pull it to the rear. Pull it real tight. And then we're going to take and put two or three really tight wraps while you're holding that. And then we're going to push it up. Secure that in real good. Put a couple wraps behind couple more in front and we're going to take our scissors trim the 
the excess material out and then we're gonna wrap the rest of that in Now we'll take our whip finisher put a five or six turn whip finish in and we'll trim our thread out and lastly we will take a little bit of head cement coat them threads and there you have it you can see it when you pulled that foam back over it kind of creates the illusion of a, a the egg veil and you can still see the red but I've caught a lot of steelhead on this pattern and trout so I suggest you give this one a try and again I thank you for watching this video please make sure you like like it and subscribe to my channel